we finally got it. Somehow our ticket didn't work. And we did like a Apple Pay, but if you did if you did Apple Pay as well, don't don't worry. You can simply just uh, scan out, and they won't charge you. And you can always communicate with the in info lady. They're very nice. They speak English, so they can always scan scan you back in. So now we're just gonna find our station. Okay, so we booked the train to Germany Hamburg but we did not know like we need to book a seat so now my seat is taken and not just us there are so many people on this train did not know how to book a seat so I'm just sitting in this corner <laughs> beside the luggage well not gonna get a kick out from here. <laughs> Still very comfortable here. It's not they have Wi-Fi so it can be like on my phone. I just can't charge my phone because I don't have a seat but I still have a lot of battery left on my phone so I'll be good. What an adventure! I love it! Okay, now we're transferring to another train. It was so stressful because we didn't know um, where to go because this is a smaller station. It's in, um, we're in German now, so we're just gonna train to Hamburg. Anyway, so the train, the train track had some problems. So all the train to, to go towards Hamburg, it's delayed. So now we're able to just hop on to any train to Hamburg. So if you're in Europe and your train is delayed, you don't need to worry about anything because you can just hop on any, any train because it's not your fault. So they're very flexible on that. And I feel like that's very, like helpful in terms of traveling. We just arrived in Hamburg, Germany. It's just peach black because we just had a five hour train ride. Now we're gonna go find our hotel and check in. Don't think we'll come out explore tonight, but this, oh my God. Look at this train station! I'm not too sure if this is like... Like a Germany vibe. But oh my god, look at these lights! I absolutely love the clock. That was like on point. First thing to see. That was absolutely so awesome. These lights are so brighty. There are so many food option beside the train station. That was a late night. Ooh. We've got breakfast included in our hotel. So now we're just gonna get some buffet. Ooh, this looks good. Find a place to sit. Sit at the high table. So they got eggs, ham, fruits, bread. I'm gonna go get some food. Okay, we just got a bunch of breakfast. I think this is a ham or salami or something. And then got cheese, yogurt, egg, and I also got a boiled egg. We've got juices here. 
And then I also got a coffee. Toast fruit. Such a healthy breakfast. And it's a buffet. You can get however much you want. Thanks. Let's enjoy the breakfast. Okay, we just had a breakfast. It is way colder than Amsterdam and Belgium in Hamburg. Plus, they had a storm yesterday. There are lots of places are like flooded, especially um, the places that we want to go beside the river. So now we're still gonna go check it out to see like what exactly happened because of the storm. We're just gonna go through the train station and go to the other side of the central station and then go from there. It is gonna be raining all day so we are we, we are prepared. I'm literally having like five layers on because like this is way colder than I expected. We'll see what an adventure to get to Hamburg. It is very pretty here. Like they've got lots of Christmas decoration as well. And if you didn't know, Hamburg is the second largest city in Germany and they have the most bridges in the world they have like over 2500 bridges and i thought amsterdam has a lot a lot of bridges but it turns out they only have a little over 1600 and venus only has over 400 bridges so i'm actually excited to see where are the bridges? <laughs> because so far I haven't seen any. And we're basically just on the road and there are lots of buildings here. I haven't seen a lot of European like old buildings yet. It's more like modern buildings. Plus I'm really sorry in my hat because it is raining. It's not as heavy but it does add extra cold when it's raining. Somebody honked. Here is the first bridge I see. There's another bridge. There's a river. There's a church ahead of us over there. We're gonna go there at some point. So, one sec. Oh my god, I feel like I told, I look total bunk on this trip in the city. Oh my god, look at my hair. It's raining like, not as hard, but like, it's like annoying raining. It is getting heavier though. We're going to this place. I am really sorry that, like, I absolutely cannot pronounce it. It is so long. All the German words are so long. And probably because I'm not as knowledgeable, I saw this word and then there was like all English letters. Somehow they had beta in it. I was like, I thought beta only use it for math alpha beta but somehow that beta is in the german words i wonder how they pronounce it anyways it is a cool experience though you have to see this i think these these are like old german buildings anyways yeah, so if you travel to Europe in winter time, please be prepared that you need to put a lot of layers on or you can just bring a winter jacket. We brought a winter jacket, it's just not thick enough. So I literally have 
three sweaters on. That's how I keep myself warm, so I can walk outside all day. If the rain is like steady like this for the rest of the day, it would be nice. At least this is like manageable without an umbrella. We can just uh, have our rain jacket. This is a really cool spot that we just discovered. Oh, this is this is the place. Bull, pull, Jim, Moo, something like that. Brook. If I pronounce it wrong, well, not that if I pronounce it wrong, I must pronounce it wrong. Apologize to all the German out there. I'm a foreigner. Don't know what's going on with the words. This is so beautiful. Not too sure what are these buildings for, but they're definitely very pretty to look at. So now we're going to go to city center. We're down with this area, but this area looks very um, historical. It's so beautiful. That's why these buildings are like so old. There must be a lot of history to it. There are lots of bridges. It looks like they've got a good mix. And here's the church. So on the other side of the bridge, it looks like very European style. But on this side are very modern buildings. Wow, look at this church ahead. Wow, it's so fascinating it is absolutely so fascinating to see historical buildings like this we have some in Canada too but because like we live in the city so we mostly see modern buildings and there are literally everyday constructions for new houses and new buildings so seeing European historical buildings like this add on another layer to my life Look at this building It's epic So historical They got all decorated here Absolutely so nice and so cute. This is the Christmas market. Like the ones that I went to, they're like more open. So this one, it's more like goes all together. You're just like in this tiny little road. Everything is so close. They got glue wine here that I will definitely try. This is feel like we're just so close, like people just so close together. So nice. Feels like a holiday vibe. I love it. We just went back to the hotel, relaxed a little bit because the rain just wouldn't stop. 